Hello, welcome to my tech one. My name is Igor and actually I will have the whole series related to bamboo lab CD printers and their filaments. And in this video I want to test how those bamboo lab speeds affect the layer adhesion and the print quality. In this video I will use the PLA Basics filament from Bamboo Lab, but actually in the near future I want to test all eight Bamboo Lab PLA filaments to compare, I know, the layer adhesion, maybe some other properties. Actually I want to test all Bamboo Lab filaments, which are printable at least on this P1P, because this is the only printer from them which I own currently. Now for the layer adhesion test I have that new test objects, uh, 10 mm in diameter, and I will use only two walls and 20% uh, infill, and with this it's a little bit closer to the real life printing compared to those objects which are solid inside, you know, 4x4 four four millimeters, which I used earlier. For the quality, I will just print a 30x30 30 30 millimeter calibration cube, which is some kind of D6 dice, and here I want to see, I don't know, the ghosting or something like that, print quality of the surface and similar. I started the printing from Bamboo Studio and I will select the silent mode for this first group. And also I measure the noise from exactly the same position in all four cases. And the sound meter is uh, approximately half meters from the printer. And I will measure the real printing time starting from uh, printing of the purge line. This is a silent mode and I will always include the layer printing of these three test objects. You can see it right now. This is the standard mode. And again, printing of these three test objects. Sport mode. Ludicrous mode. And a few more footages from this faster printing mode. Look at that shaking. <laughs> this is the second or third layer and the noise from it, approximately 60 decibels. And also for the reference I printed something on the S3 S1 and for comparison look in the corner printing with the Bamboo Lab. This looks way too slow. And of course I used here the same filament. It's time to check the quality, these are printed on Bamboo Lab from slowest to fastest mode and this is printed on Ender 3 S1. And this is the bottom layer, it looks very equal in all five cases because here I also use the Texture PI sheet. Let's see the top layer, this is the Z axis. And again, it is very similar in all five cases. This is the X axis. And there is no ghosting, that's what I'm looking for now. And let's check the Y axis. And again, if there was some ghosting or something like that, it will be visible because I have here the side light. But the quality is good, independent from the printing speed. I also want to measure the weight separately. I will measure the weight of one cube and also uh, three test objects at once. And if there is any sign of understruction on those higher speeds, I should see any difference in the weight. But also, of course, I will measure the objects printed on the 3 Everything is measured, the result is very similar. Maybe here on a ludicrous speed I can see that this weight is just a little bit lower compared to the first three. And on Ender 3 <laughs> the cube was a little bit lighter and the test objects a little bit heavier. Uh, this may have effects to the layer adhesion, but uh, I think it's time to do the layer adhesion test. I think this is the most important here in this video. And it's time to test these holders. They are CNC machine by JLC PCB. I presented them a few weeks ago. These objects are printed in silent mode, standard mode, sport mode, and lud ludicrous mode. And on end of free, last footage was not recorded because uh, my SD card got full, but I remember the result. These test objects printed on Bamboo Lab broke very equally, but not on the smallest cross-section area. I believe that they are printed so fast that it still uh, slowed down a little bit on that uh, diameter. Until printed on NDS3, they broke on that smaller cross-section area, because I can see in the Cura that there was no slowing down in this case. 
I couldn't find this kind of view in the Memo Studio. For example, if I would print only these three objects, in that case it would slow down in the middle on Ender 3. Now let's analyze the data in this Excel table and now we start with the print times. And I couldn't notice actually too big difference between these uh, print times compared to the percentage of the speed. But I believe that these are two small objects and the real limitation is actually the acceleration. But anyway, you can see on Ender 3 it required maybe three or four times uh, longer time. The noise. Definitely I couldn't notice uh, some increase in the noise when I increased the speed, but for the feeling, in all four cases it was equally noisy. Uh, one thing I noticed actually, on the, these higher speeds, uh, significantly more vibration I had with these uh, printings. On Ender 3S1 it is not the quietest printer, but definitely much quieter compared to Bembole printing. The mass of the objects, and uh, this is the total mass, and um, I believe that this is important because I noticed that on ludicrous speed, the printed objects has a little bit uh, smaller mass compared to the first three modes. This is not big difference, pay attention, that this is not from the zero, but definitely the difference was measurable, so this means we are reaching that uh, some extrusion limit on this higher speed, so definitely I will not uh, recommend using this speed from this reason. And uh, the most important, I think, in this test is the layer adhesion. And uh, I could really measure very nice uh, degradation of the layer adhesion when I increase the speed. But uh, even this is very good. So look at this on Ender 3S ones. I can have very similar layer adhesion. So uh, this is not the reason if you want to increase the speed. You can do it. You will have great layer adhesion. Don't forget, this is PLA basic. So only with this element. I'm not sure about the other filaments. In the meantime, I got the COVID, but I want to finish this video, then I will have some break in the publishing. About the quality, independent from uh, printing speeds. And the Bamboo Lab did a great job, not only with the printer, but also with the profiles in the slicer. The layer adhesion, mm, it was great in all four cases, but definitely I could measure some lower layer adhesion if we are printing on those higher speeds, but even in that ludicrous mode, uh, that layer adhesion was actually great. But in this mode I noticed that the uh, mass of the test objects was a little bit lower compared to the first three modes. This means we are close, uh, slowly reaching the possibilities of this hot end. And also I noticed a really lot of vibration in this mode. So I believe that the lifespan of the printer will be longer if we don't use this uh, ludicrous mode. I'm curious if these uh, pads will help with those vibrations. If somebody are using them, then write me a few lines in the comment section. Well, this was my experience and um, well, I will be better. Then I will start with the testing of all PLA filaments from the Bamboo Lab and uh, we will see what will be the next one. Thank you for watching and happy printing.